Hello and welcome everyone. Today we're going to be talking about day two of the Call of Duty 2020 slash Warzone Easter egg update and we're also going to be exploring Bunker 2 and obviously I'm going to tell you guys how to access Bunker 2 in Warzone. Just going to remind you guys before we hop into the video, don't forget to like the video if you enjoy it at any time and if you do enjoy the video to stick around longer, you can always hit the subscribe button and turn on post notifications for more intel relating to Call of Duty 2020, Season 5 of Modern Warfare, or just anything Call of Duty here on the channel. I'm going Going to be reporting on COD 2020 and this easter egg pretty vigorously. Now with that being said, let's get into today's video. Alrighty guys, so today on the Pawn Takes Pawn website, which is now the official Call of Duty 2020 teaser website, we did actually receive an update in the form of a new tape that is from 1968 to 1969. In this tape, we saw mentions of the Reagan presidency, the Nixon presidency, as well as the Apollo 1 mission, and we did get a few numbers that blinked throughout the course of the video. Now, at this point, I believe that the numbers are going to be important in the future. However, right now, they're just going to be something that we collect throughout the tapes. It does seem like each video so far has had a few numbers that blink throughout them. They could be the Ascension numbers, but they are most likely going to be part of a bigger cipher that we are going to have to solve. At this point, a lot of people do believe the tapes are pretty much useless. However, I believe the contrary. First of all, you're gonna get a history lesson out of them, and I know they're pretty boring to watch. However, those numbers are going to give us huge steps towards the ending Easter egg, and they're most likely going to be the key to actually solving all of the ciphers that have been spread across all of the bunkers that we've opened so far, as well as that shed over in farmland. Anyways, with that being said, let's talk about today in the video. During the course of the 1968 to 1969 video, we saw the VHS blink with yet another set of numbers. It says Warzone B5, which is going to be the area of the Warzone map that they want us to go to, and then it gives us a code being 87624851. In the B5 sector of the Warzone map is actually Bunker 2. Now you don't need a key card to get into Bunker 2, you only need this code. If you head on over to Bunker 2, preferably in a plunder match so it's a little more peaceful and there's not many people coming after you, you can actually enter through the front door of this bunker and you will actually see a bunker basically trapped back in time. Once again, we are in another area of Warzone that seems to be set in the past as the entirety of the bunker pretty much hasn't been touched since the late 60s, as you can see from the set pieces as well as the technology in the room. If you go over to the desk in the center of the room, just a side note, if you ever do have to defend the bunker, you can also mount on this desk so you can get a pretty good wide angle to anyone who's trying to get into the bunker and steal it from you. You're gonna see on the desk that there is an old telephone as well as a bust of Vladimir Lenin and then there's also going to be a note on the desk that says Bravo Foxtrot Alpha. Now basically this desk at this point seems like it has no significance so far, however I'm sure that cipher on the desk is going to have some significance and maybe even the numbers on the phones themselves. Now I did think at some point while actually going through the bunker that the Vladimir Lenin bus could actually open like one of those like secret compartments where there'd be a button under his head, so I did try to basically interact with Lenin as many ways as as possible and it does seem like at this point that it is impossible to access that elevator behind Lennon. Now actually let's talk about that elevator a little more in depth. There seems to be an elevator in the back of the bunker that you can actually get into as it has a red light very similar to how Bunker 11 operated. If you guys remember the Bunker 11 easter egg you would have to go around the map and travel to different phones in order to activate like a code that was blurted out by one of the phones and you'd have to do it in a certain order and basically that would trigger Bunker 11 to open. But one of the key signals that you did the easter egg correctly is that on top of Bunker 11 there would be a red light. Now when you did do the easter egg correctly, Bunker 11 would have that light turn green and the team that actually did the easter egg correctly would be granted access into Bunker 11. I believe that the easter egg for the elevator in Bunker 2 will work very similarly to the actual Bunker 11 easter egg, but we only really have to see with time. Basically today was a slower day as the only part of the easter egg as it seems from the Pawn Takes Pawn website was actually gaining access into Bunker 2 so today was a little boring and lackluster even really compared to yesterday where we did open up that farm door in farmland so really things are going pretty slow but I'm sure they'll speed up in the next couple of days. Day 3 is going to take off tomorrow as well though on the Pawn Takes Pawn website so hopefully there'll be even more developments in the actual Warzone storyline and basically between the website and the actual game itself. 
Anyways guys, really for the bunker, the only real advantage right now to getting into it of course is to see it as well as all of the kill streaks that are throughout the room and all of the money. There is a lot of loot scattered throughout this bunker, so if you ever run across it in an actual war zone game, it's super helpful to actually walk in and take all of the loot in there. But with that all being said guys, that really is going to be it for day two, a little lackluster, so hopefully day three will speed this up a little bit. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching today's video, don't forget to like the video if you guys haven't already and subscribe for more Call of Duty news, leaks, and information. I'll see you guys all in the next one.